This is One Stop Shop. Or what I have of it. So One Stop Shop is a song that I came up with in the car one day. Um, a lot of times I drive without any music on and I just sing nonsense until something clicks and it seems like One Stop Shop was the phrase that was going to stick that day. The idea basically came to me probably on my way home from Target, if we're going to be honest, um, of just how you could go into that store and you can get everything that you need. You can get clothes, you can get food, you can get toiletries, you can buy a bike, like whatever you want. And what if you know, you equated that to a person, so it was the person that you went to with all your problems, who you went to laugh with, who you went to cry with and be in love with, and who was your best friend. What if One Stop Shop was a person? Unlike a lot of the other songs on this album, One Stop Shop is a song that was built electronically first. Um, when I was writing this one, it was primarily in Logic, using loops and sounds that, you know, are not organic, um, which I think kind of helped this song take on a whole new shape than any other song that I've really kind of written in this style before. When I was working on One Stop Shop on the plane, it was kind of, just making the general outline for the song because I knew a lot of work still needed to be done in Logic and building this out a lot bigger. I kept it really, really simple to start to just kind of let it grow in Nashville. When we got to Nashville, the first day that we worked on One Stop Shop, we had recorded two other songs vocally that were a little bit more rockier and belty yeah. and a little bit louder. And I knew that wasn't really what I wanted for this song. I wanted it to be very pop, very clean um, vocally. So the first thing we actually recorded in Nashville for this song was guitars. And I'm pretty sure that's the only acoustic instrument on this entire song. Here's a question. Can we punch each chord just so I can... Yeah. So can it, like, I'll be like... Yeah, for sure. The next day was all vocals for the song, all the harmonies for the song. I'm pretty sure we just knocked out in one day. Pretty much up until the last day that we were in the studio, I was working on finishing the lyrics to this one. What were the uh, lyrics you were playing around with? It the way we clicked was so authentic. And then what I had before was convince me that this was something we should hold tight. Um, but change it to why overthink something that just feels right. The first complete absolutely nothing changed at all is the bridge. And that's actually what I thought the all the verses was going to be like. Like I thought it was going to be a faster paced song, almost like Ed Sheeran, like multiply album fast. This one's very wordy, so I'm going to mess up a lot. No, no worries. I mean, we can just take it line by line yeah. if we need to, so. Cut. 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 Cut my eye. <laughs> and I picked you. <laughs> Secret keeping you all to myself, but it's so hard to keep quiet from the way we shine. I think there could be two separate one stop shopping things going on at the end, and they could be like maybe pan. So the one yeah, could be no, the I... ones, the one stop shop kind of love. Uh, keep lighting it. It's the way to a man. I'm a little bit addicted. Yeah, you're my one stop shop. Let's go. Love I know I'll never get enough, but no, I know not. And I know I'll never get enough. It's really cool. It's so cute. I know I'll never get enough. No, I know not. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. What's the plan today? 
We're getting breakfast at the Funky Griddle. We're going to uh, Nick's studio. So Nick is a friend of James's. He went to Blackbird Academy with them and he has um, by, like a home studio in his house, but it's like actually a studio room with a lot of amps and synthesizers. And... Nick's home studio is sick. It has a ton of crazy guitars, awesome vintage equipment and amps and actual real synthesizers um, and two very cute dogs. <laughs> and we got to go there and record the electric guitar parts for this song. <laughs> Like a, a big yeah, cool. So that it's not just the same the entire time? Or like in the first chorus, yeah, it could yeah, just yeah. be one and then get different. So one thing I've always wanted to do in a song, musically, is have like a guitar part that's just kind of pedaling octaves. Um, it's like really scratchy guitar sounding and it's just an earworm and it's light and it's in the background. And if I'm not mistaken, we used a hair tie to kind of mute the rest of the strings. So I think we have footage of a hair tie on the strings as I'm trying to play this pedal part. Could you just try to be like super tight so you don't hit the other strings on like some hits, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder like, is I'm just dead in these two Oh yeah, if you, do you have um, you probably don't, but like a scrunchie or something? Yeah. <laughs> you probably don't. It's, like, <laughs> it's really <laughs> well, I, I, I really thought it was going to be something crazy. To be, to be it's fair, like we like, planned I haven't that. I have seen you wear a scrunchie, so. <laughs> you don't happen to have a scrunchie on it's your like, wrist. <laughs> Sponsored by so Scrunchy. Um, try that. Just try, uh, yeah, Connor. <laughs> Such a cool trick. I never yeah, do that. There you go. Or it might be too tight or not dead enough in certain strings. Yeah. I don't know. I just, like, just put this in here. That's cool, too. <laughs> The old scrunchy cloth trick. <laughs> One Stop Shop was never a song that I thought was going to be a single for this album. It just, I think, kind of came together a lot easier than I thought it would. I thought it was going to take a lot longer to do a lot of the production techniques, and I, you know, if you listen to a lot of my other stuff, it's not super electronic. Um, so to have a song that's pretty much only electronic and only MIDI and only synthesizers and very, very, very few organic sounding instruments, I thought was going to take a lot longer to come together. Um, but as we added each piece, it kind of just all fell into place and it became a song that we were, we were dancing to doing a rough mix in Nashville last year, you know? Whereas like all the other ones were like, all right, there's a lot of work to do on this one. I felt like, you know, there was a lot of videos of us just like vibing in the background as we're, I don't know, taking the vocal comps and everything like that. Like it was a song that I think took us all by surprise just because it's so catchy. So I hope that you enjoy listening to it too. No, it's not.